Now, a few interesting things did come out of today's school day. So, first off, we have my school photo. Now, as always, I'm looking like a really big pleb in this. And to be honest, I just hope it doesn't come up in class because I know it will be one of the photos that everyone laughs at. But yeah. I don't know why I can't smile. It's just something wrong with me. And in politics, I got my 45 marker back, my first ever one. And how did I do? I got a U. I got 23 out of 45. And, well, it's better than I did at AS for the 40 marker, but it's still very poor. I wasn't the lowest in the class by a mile, but I think I was kind of joint lowest, lowest by a few marks, that sort of thing. But hopefully practice and practice. Also, guys, I have some new channel art. I like, like, the right-hand side. I think that's quite cool. Well, then I don't know what to put on this side. I, I, I do like the symmetry, but not as much as maybe something else cooler. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. Mum, do you have any advice for A-level mathematicians? How to get good grades? Yeah, you need to stay on top of it. Go over what you learn in the lesson. Boring. What would your advice be then? Just practice, use the website. I, I've, I gave them a few websites later on in the video, basically. I'll show you what websites to use to get good grades. Now, you know them days when you're running later than late? Today's one of them for me. It's 8.10 and my bus is coming at 8.20 and I need to be in school at 8.35 and with all the traffic at the station, there's no way I'm gonna make it. I normally get on the bus about 7.45. So I'm gonna be running 20, 35 minutes late, which means I'm gonna miss assembly and get in a lot of trouble. But you know what? The reason why I was late is because I couldn't do my hair because I got a haircut, didn't like it, so I didn't wanna leave. That's a student problem. That is my day today. Pretty much lessons all day, assembly first. That's not a good day. So I used to rank my drawers in order of subjects I like. So we had math at the top, and we've got a math video coming up later on, so do stay around for that. I had biology, which I got E in, economics I got a C in, and politics I got D in. So best subject, worst subject, and then the is about equal. And to top it all off, I can't even find my keys. So I'm gonna have to get my spare keys, which are probably So now I have to take my spare keys because I can't find my keys. And it's always the days when you're running late that you have hold ups like this, which is really annoying. So guys, a while back I got my ear pierced. You probably can't see it, but basically it was swollen so I took it out. And it hit me today, you know, I'm quite spontaneous. I want to put my ear piercing back in, so it's probably going to hurt, so I'm going to film it. Mum's going to clean it right now, clean it right now, bring it in, and I'm going to put it on. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that's just cotton wool. Is it in? Is it in? No. Just leave it, it's hurting too much. Groovy. Oh, that's actually hurting a lot. Is it closed up? Let's have a look. It's bleeding a little bit. Yeah, because you stabbed me. Just <laughs> saw him drop it. Ready? Yeah. Ah! Ouch. Ow, it's closed up and that hurt. And now I just, now I don't want it in because I don't want to have a swollen ear. It's not worth the pain, I guess, of uh, having a swollen ear for ages. It's got my uh, after school snack, if you will. But basically, I didn't actually want to get re pierced by my mum just in case something went wrong. I'd rather just go to the shop and have them quickly do it. And I was late to school today. Clearly, I was going to be very late. But, um,. I signed in at 8.59 and you get minus one point for that, but if you sign in after nine o'clock, you get minus three, so just about made it pretty much. Mm. Oh, cheers, Phil. So I also got a new uh, jump in this bag. My mom chose it for me to match my red loafers, nice and red, so let's see what it looks like. Hmm. So obviously my tire is very weird. It's such a weird tie. I don't know why I was wearing it, because my jumper comes up, but anyway. It's, yeah, I'm quite enjoying this uh, nice jumper. It looks nice, or obviously without my blazer on, and it goes nicely with my shoes, so yeah, it's a keeper. Now, 
That is another top tip for doing maths at A-level. You need to go to all the sessions your school put on for you, especially your revision, because that's the only time when, if you get stuck, you can sort out straight away. Being like, going to school, coming home and doing questions, you get stuck, you spend like an extra half an hour trying to figure out the answer, looking for solutions. Uh, your, when you're asking your teachers, done it, straight away, you can move on. Now, the reason I'm wearing a thermal is because you know when you wake up for school now and it's so cold. Like, it's actually, it's like it's jacket weather now, so in the evenings it also gets cold, so I'm popping on a thermal. Jeez. Here it is, let's see. Um, Wednesday, 5th of October, 800 metres, medicine ball. Alright, decent session, decent session. I hate this pie, so I'm going to put it in the bin. Okay. Now, essentially, there are three key things that you will need to do in order to pass uh, A-level maths and in order to get a good grade, so there's these three websites and if you basically use these websites effectively, you'll get top marks. This is how I went from like a U to a B. Now, the first secret or tip that I'd say to getting a good grade in maths is that you need to use this website called Physics and Maths Tutor because obviously you're going to have to work your way through every single book. Whether it be C1, C2, S1, M1, D1, C3, C4, everything like that, you're going to need to work through it. And you're going to need to do the questions in there every time. Some of the questions can get really hard. Now, if they're getting really hard, go on Physics and Maths Tutor, and it has a solution bank. And in the solution bank, it has all the solutions for every single question in any one of them books. So definitely go on that website, even the mix exercises. And that's a really good way to improve because, you know, it has the solutions there. You never get stuck at home. You don't waste your time. The next tip for getting a top AS maths grade is to use exam solutions. Now, obviously, once you complete the whole course, you'll be banging out full pass papers. Now, when you're doing these pass papers or when you're doing pass paper questions for specific topics, there's this guy that's done solutions to every single pass paper question. So, literally, just type in the pass paper on his website, you can find it, or type it in on YouTube. And he brings up that exact question where he does a work solution nice and slow, and he talks you through it as well. So, it is really good. Definitely go check him out. And then once again, it saves you time and it allows you to understand. And that is when you're going to really start understanding the past papers. And the last secret to AS or A level maths is to ask questions. When you fall behind, it's so hard to catch up. So, my advice is to always make sure if you don't understand in lesson after school, go back and ask your teacher questions. Put your hand up during lesson. Like, at the end of the day, there's going to be people in your class as well that don't understand. And often people are too scared to ask anything. I often get scared and don't ask. And often teachers explain to me, once I've asked them once, I still don't get it, but I just move on. So you just need to make sure you're asking questions and questions and questions. And now I'll help you through maths. That's honestly another thing I did. Luckily, I had support at school. So after school, when the teachers would have spent their time to go through with us. But honestly, them three tips will get you top grades in maths. And also another tip, don't waste any time on a question. If you're not getting the question, move on. Don't waste your time on it. It's probably just like a random one-off type question. But yeah, I know this is at the end of the video, so if you did enjoy, do leave a like. Do subscribe down below. Uh, Sunday's video, Sunday fun day, and weekday vlog day fun day.